With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hey everyone. So in this question, it is again that we need to define hyper conjugation by taking an example of propene. So we need to define the hyper conjugation effect. So basically hyper conjugation effect means it is the interaction of electron in sigma bond. So I can write down interaction of electron in sigma bond. So the sigma bond mostly considered is going to be carbon hydrogen bond and sometimes carbon carbon bond. Okay. So in this sigma bond between carbon and hydrogen, carbon and carbon, we consider the interaction of electron. Okay. So with adjacent empty or partially filled non-bonding p orbital, the interaction with, we are talking about the interaction of electron in the sigma bond by the partially filled, I will write down what all can interact, partially filled non-bonding p orbital. Then it can happen with interaction can happen with the anti-bonding sigma or pi orbital anti-bonding sigma or pi orbital or it can also happen between the filled pi orbital. So interaction of sigma bond between the electrons and these types of orbitals give an extended molecular orbital to give rise to give rise to extended molecular orbital which increases the increases the stability of system the stability of system is known as hyperconjugation now, if we consider the example of a propene molecule, so the structure of propene is first of all, we are considering the normal propene CH3 sigma bond CH. Uh, this is going to be CH then double bond CH2. Okay. Now what happens is if I write the expanded form of this, so the expanded form would be C H H H C H double bond CH2, right? So CH2 can be written like this. Now what happens over here is there will be bond shifting, the interaction of sigma bond. The sigma bond from this has carbon hydrogen can break and this can go over here, which will result in formation of double bond, right? So that will cause a double bond. And what else we have? We have the shifting of double bond will take place in this case. So the shifting is going to happen in like this. And now the structure for the molecule would be, you will have H, C, H positive, then I can have a double bond over here and hydrogen as it is carbon hydrogen. No, this is going to become double bond. Yeah, that is double bond. This is going to be single bond now. CH H. This can be written like this. Now this can undergo hyperconjugation. Now this hydrogen can be broken, right? So this hydrogen if broke, we will have hydrogen positive. Then we'll have carbon hydrogen hydrogen double bond carbon hydrogen and rest everything is going to be same so this is again one more hyperconjugating structure now from this what we can conclude this hydrogen can break right this hydrogen which is present can break and form a double bond so here we can write this as carbon hydrogen hydrogen and hydrogen positive here we will have a double bond c h this is going to be single bond now. Here we will have H, H, and like this. So these are the hyper hyperconjugating structures seen in a propene molecule. So from this we can conclude that the delocalization of pi electrons increases the stability of molecule. So that means more the number of hyperconjugating structures, the better the stability. So we can conclude from this delocalization of by electrons what does it do it increases the stability increases stability of propene system so this will be the answer for this question thank you 
for class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.